Hi, I'm Mark Richman from Chef Knives to Go. Uh, today I wanted to give you a quick review of a new item that we have in stock. It's the Tojiro Shirogami Hairline Gyoto. And uh, the size on this one is approximately 185 millimeters. It's a cool knife. Uh, we're always looking for um, good knives that are good values and this uh, definitely fits the bill. It um, comes in a nice box. Let's take a look at it. This stuff is non-reactive paper and uh, you'll see this on a lot of our knives that are carbon steel. Um, they, it keeps it from rusting while it's sitting in the box, especially in humid environments. Uh, okay, so the the knife here, uh, as I said, let's uh, let's do a little spec work. Um, I see 185 millimeters on the edge, and about I'd say about 40 millimeters on the height. The weight on this is 4.1 ounces or four ounces. The handle on this knife is inexpensive. It's a uh, hoe wood D-shaped and the bump D-shaped means that there's a bump on the right side. Um, they're kind of meant for right-handed but lefties can use D-shaped handles without any problem. The, uh, the ferrule here is a composite. It's like a plastic. It's hard. Um, very durable. You see these a lot on uh, inexpensive knives and this one is uh, right around 50 bucks so it's uh, it's very inexpensive. The uh, kanji is engraved on here. I believe they're etching this with a laser. You can feel it. It's not um, it's not screened on. It's definitely into the metal. The uh, finish on this is what they call hairline and it's hard to see on the video but what they do is they uh, they grind it with a belt sander and they do it in this direction instead of this direction and so you get these lines these long lines of scratch pattern that um, they think look like hairs so they call it hairline uh, then they sandblast the uh, bottom end here and it gives it a nice contrast it makes it look like um, there's a big long bevel here but this is cosmetic it's just a uh, they usually tape this off and then they sandblast it down and then they sharpen the edge and that's how you get that three those three different contrasts on here back side of the blade is pretty much the same except no logo uh, the the spine here is uh, fairly sharp I would take a piece of sandpaper and 15 20 seconds on it right on the edge uh, just to clean that up uh, the blades come relatively sharp these are decently sharpened knives um, I think it's worth it to sharpen this out of the box and I'll, I'll be saying this over and over again um, it cleans up the edge and you can always improve it by hand if you sharpen on water stones we have that service for $14.95 it's called finish sharpening service and uh, if you want us to do it first we can and we can make it screaming sharp so that is pretty much it on the knife. I think it's a winner, uh, especially for the price range. Um, I'll give you one more look at the profile so you can check it out. There you go. Be okay for rocking, but I think like most Kyoto's, I think it's better as a push cutter. And, uh, and there you go. I'm Mark Richmond. Stay sharp.